It's me, Teresa, from the Miramichi. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit today about my dream as a kid in high school. Many moons ago. <laughs> um, when I was in high school, I wanted to be an actress. That was my dream. I was into theater arts and really loved, I really loved that. Like, I really loved taking myself outside of myself and playing someone else. And I was good at it. And uh, I even got accepted to York University for their fine arts program, which includes not only acting, but dance and singing, too. <laughs> Believe it or not, <laughs> anyone that knows me would be like, really? You sing? Dance? <laughs> Especially dance. But, um, you know, yeah, I, I worked it out. And I went to my dad and I said, yeah, this is what I want to do. This I want to be an actress. And he was like, okay, one you know, oh, I'm okay with that if you're going to be a teacher, like an acting teacher. Two, he's like, yeah, you follow your dream of acting, you're going to end up a porn star. Well, one, I, I wouldn't do that. But two, what's wrong with that? Like, look at Shannon Rose. Like, she's doing all right for herself. Like, that girl's cool. Like, what's really wrong with that? I mean, it's not my thing, but no wrong with it. Anyway, let me ask anybody I've ever slept with, and they'll say, yeah, Teresa's a porn star. No. <laughs> but anyway, like, so I didn't follow my dream. You know, that's something for you guys to take into consideration. You don't want to end up this all kinds of weird, right? Follow your dream. Um. Anyways, I mean, it's not that that's a bad thing because, I mean, look at all the actors and actresses out there that never even got started until they were in their late 50s, you know? So, I mean, it's not like a closed door or anything, but this is kind of my outlet. This is something I'm doing because I didn't do what I did when I was young. So, lesson to you young guys, you know, follow your dreams. Do what you want to do. Like, may not end up with anything, but it might lead you into something that you want to do. That's kind of with me. Like, you know, I didn't follow my dreams into acting. You know, but it kind of led me here, you know, because I don't really watch TV. I, I watch YouTube. <laughs> I'm a part of the community. So, you know, that's that's where it drew me. I, I ended up here. And, I mean, I know I'm just getting started out. And I know I'm nowhere and I'm nobody. But maybe it'll end up with something. You never know. I mean, I'm all kinds of weird. And you'll find that if you follow me any length of time. Or if you know me, I'm all kinds of weird. But that's okay. You know, we're all a little bit weird. I'm just a whole lot of weird. But that's okay. I'm the weird girl with a good heart. And I'm kind of one of those... I'm, I'm like your weird friend that you have to explain to other people that... Yeah, she's kind of weird, but she's got a good heart. She's sweet. You'll like her. Yeah, I'm the friend you have to explain. <laughs> And I'm sure if Tina's watching this, she's probably saying, yeah, exactly. But, um, anyway, I love you guys. And I promise my next video will be much better because, you know, I think as you do this kind of thing, like you get better at it, you get more seasoned. You, you know, you, uh, grow as an artist, you grow as a performer and I got lots to learn. Um, and in case you're wondering, in case you've seen this, this ring, I'm not engaged. This, it's just, I wear it on my left hand because that's the only finger it fits on. But this was my mom's ring. And uh, she passed away about a year ago. And uh, this was her engagement ring. So I wear it in memory of her. She was an amazing lady. Gosh, if you, I just, I so wish you would have had the opportunity to meet her. Because she was really freaking amazing. She was the kindest, sweetest, most loving, understanding human being that's ever existed. Like, she was pretty freaking cool. And my dad, he's still alive. He's 85. Mm. Um, but I was the youngest of seven kids, so I'm not that old. <laughs> but no, my dad's 85. And he's the most sweetest, understanding person I've ever met. Like, he's just all kinds of kindness about him and I come from a family of five brothers one sister and well so two girls five boys and uh 
Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So shout out to my brother Richard. Promised I'd do that, so here it is. <laughs> but he's pretty freaking cool. He's weird, just like me. Weird. So, um, gosh, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys, and I promise I'll try to be much better in my next video. <sighs> Anyways, comment down below. How can I improve as a YouTuber? Please, help me. I need help. Ah, I need help. So please, you know, if this resonated with you, please like it and uh, subscribe if you want to hear more of my weird journey, because I'm really weird. Um... And comment down below, what do you want to hear? What of my weird story? I mean, I've got addiction issues. I've got, oh, actually, I'm going to talk to you about one thing. Hmm. Um, okay, I just dropped something. But anyway, um, I have what's called trichotillomania. And that means that usually people with that, it's an OCD kind of disorder. And people will like sometimes pull out their hair, sometimes pull out their eyebrows <laughs> Obviously, I don't laugh, <laughs> but um, I pull up my eyelashes, and that's why I'm trying to work on learning how to use fake eyelashes because I don't have any, and uh, it's really kind of scary. I can't believe I'm actually even talking about this, but I want to be completely transparent with you guys. I want to be, I want to be really transparent with you guys. I want to be really honest with you guys. I want to really talk about what's important. I want to talk about my issues because maybe I can inspire you guys to get help. Maybe I can inspire you guys to not feel so alone. And yeah, anyways, I, trichotillomania, which I pull out my eyelashes. So yeah, it's weird. I know I'm all kinds of weird, but I don't know if I'm actually going to post this because <laughs> it's kind of taken an odd turn, but um, it's my first video. Don't expect too much, okay? Um, anyway. Uh, but I'm going to have more videos. I'm going to talk a little bit more about, like, my trichotillomania. trichotillomania and I'm going to talk about my addiction issues. I'm going to talk about, gosh, my family issues. Do you hear that snoring? That's my dog. Big snore. Holy good God. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to, like, do... Oh, my CP puppy. She is, in case you're wondering, um, not like anyone's asked, but in case you're wondering, she's uh, a pity, pitbull, um, valley bulldog mix. So, but she's amazing. She's the best dog ever. She's so sweet and she's so kind and loving and don't know what to do without her. I'm also going to talk about, okay, I'll like, okay, getting back to what I was talking about. Um, yeah, trichotillomania, addiction issues, weight issues. That's a big one. Um, yeah, I got lots to talk about. I'm sorry this was so long and so probably pretty boring. But that's me. I'm kind of weird and kind of boring. Darla, stop snoring. I'm doing mama's videos. But I also want to talk about my um my uh journey with my dog. Like how I got her and the whole journey with my little love muffin. And uh anyway. I'm sorry this was so like ugh, boring and weird, but please stick around. It'll get better, I promise. Love ya.